Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on Barbarian. It's been a minute since the last time I played on Barb. Well, due to a number of reasons, such as this class being the absolute weakest. But recently, recently, the Iron Maze have decided to do a little buff towards the skin, which is the Lycan. And uh, pretty much now, our Fury is slightly upgraded. <laughs> Um, and basically, this is what we have. Um, we're going to be playing with the combination of Blood Exchange and Achilles Strike. Basically, this is what we're going to have. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 5% of the people who are watching my channel have subscribed. The rest didn't. Continue to press the subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken builds, because this is what my channel is based on. Anyway, let's hop back into the video. So... The build that I'm going to be playing with is going to be slightly weird and for some it may seem like an off-meta build, but don't get me wrong, this build is actually quite strong, especially in the current meta. We're going to use the hatchet with additional weapon damage and, um, well, the hatches are basically free on the market, they're super cheap and they're extremely underrated, so, like, majority of people would be prefer to use um, the horseman axe, which, do I have one in particular? I do, but, um... I'm not a big fan of Horseman Axe, even though the Hatchet, uh, well, even though the Horseman Axe does slightly more damage, it also slows you down by 5, and the 5 move speed is actually quite drastic, especially if you will be able to run around with your Hatchet out and uh, being still being pretty fast. This actually comes with benefit and with ability to catch up to people who you wouldn't be able to catch otherwise. Well, and that's actually the beauty of the Hatchet. Also, the attack speed of this thing is actually pretty nice, as well as attack animation. I know, I just really like the way the Hatchet is. For the build, we're going to be running the very basic concept. Basically, there's no point to show stats because I'm going to change my gear from game to game. Um, and basically, the main idea is going to be to build around 300, maybe less move speed, around 20 to 25 percent PDR, and around 200 health. Basically, if you get all those combines, well, here we go, you're going to get an outcome. So, basically, I'm going to try to play with maybe 50 uh, Wigger build, and um, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm not 100 percent certain if building just Wigger is going to be the best way. I feel like building action speed is probably going to be much suitable but um this is just like a quick um build that i threw together and this whole thing is super budget and basically we're gonna do our upgrades and we're gonna move on from there so yeah anyway let's go into the video and let's go clap some chicks this build might actually be it 278 move speed with armor with pdr with health this actually might be it this actually might be it and also like most importantly i'm playing on a furry you know what i mean most broken furry build. <laughs> and also, I two shot two shot most of the mobs, also beautiful. But I think I could two shot them, one shot them with Foul Knight. Oh, actually, no, I don't think I can. Let's see. I can! Holy cow. This is so fucking convenient. Oh. No action speed, though. I got no action speed, unfortunately. Bro, killing mobs with one shot is so satisfying. There is one extremely geared bard in the lobby. It seems like he killed someone. I found the corpse right outside the middle room. So, but I assume it could be somewhere close. Someone opened up the portal. Well, that's good to know. Interesting. Mm, gotta be careful here. The bard has 330 move speed. He is super geared. This is the guy, by the way. Okay. One cranny. Mistake, should have used hatchet instead. We're gonna use hatchet. I missed. It was not a bad attempt, but um end up missing. I'm gonna use blue. He's not gonna he actually will, never mind. I'm gonna use another blue, gotta take reds. I do have um Achilles. And blood exchange, so I will be able to heal up. Let's see. Okay. I hit him. I'm full. One more. Okay, not bad. Oh look, there is a Mr. Rogue right there. Mr. Rogue. Does he know that he could take the left side to actually get her on the other side? Wait, nah, that, I don't think he can. He would have to circle around. Yeah, I don't think he can. 
this is not the one. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> Just gonna heal up to full by the time he comes here. I don't want to take all the cheese this bard has because he is way too juicy. Oh brother, why would you do this to me? Oh no, where did that bottle came from? <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I play a stupid card. It's like, oh hey man, I'm a new player, don't kill me please. <laughs> oh wow, no, no, please don't kill me, brother. Oh god, please no, I don't want to die man, not like this. Holy fuck, that was cringe. <laughs> I just realized I was muted this whole time alone, bro. I was talking to literally to myself. Just fucking cringe as fuck. One more hit. Actually, tank ass bitch. Okay, not anymore. He's he's dead. All right. Well, here's my cheesecake. Let's see what this guy has. He was super juicy though. 330 most bit, plenty of health. It's like, mmm, fucking really good looking guy. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, well, I wanna keep those. Oh boy, hell yeah. My homie is cheesy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely the one. Hell yeah. Oh, I like it. I like this. Oh, free bandies. Those are expensive. Purple kids? I didn't even know fucking they existed, what the hell? Mm, right, not bad. I guess we might as well just go and extract what else there is to do. Actually, there is this rogue to check, so let's actually see. But I'm already fully cheesed out, so I'm kinda... <sighs> it's okay. It's not that deep. Just another 10 seconds. Yeah, guys, shit. It's okay, though. Hmm... I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm alright. Alright, what can I say? Not a bad game. Let's go into the next one. Okie dokie. Alright, let's quickly store all the cheese that we ended up getting. Hopefully we'd be able to fill up this tab with some good stuff. I'm gonna be honest. It's a little bit of a throw to play on a furry build. But listen, it's not about the stats, it's about the drip. Anyway, let's go into the next one. The whole lobby are actually a lobby of juicers. Like, if I get to make a couple of kills and survive, that's gonna be a big W. Because my current kit price is like little under 2000 gold, I believe. It's the most basic wigger and a little bit of dexterity build. Okay, I waste my kills. G fucking G. He tried to lock me out. Okay, he used the blue pot. Well, that's good to know. I have a couple of blues, so I'm gonna pop them eventually, but I don't want to waste them too early, you know what I mean? Oh, that was a close one. Alright, so I want to wait out for him to run out of blue pot and it stabbed him a couple of times. One headshot. Arm shot. Four, four shots. Definitely not bad. Okay, he's slightly fast. He's trying to run away, and that's actually not bad for us. He's gonna heal up to full, he's not gonna have second wing, and we're just simply gonna repeat the process. The um, This build in particular is actually quite decent against the PDR rondel fighters, because you actually have a chance to kite them around a little bit. Once you decide to fully commit to a fight, that's where he's gonna die. Headshot, another headshot, and another headshot. Bro. Oh, fuck! Okay. It's fine. It's not that deep. I almost felt like I had shot at him four times, but probably I didn't. In my screen it did, though. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit careful with this guy. He popped the Phantomize, though, which is um, kind of weird, but it's okay, though. Alright, well, he got a little bit of cheese. Definitely not bad for us. We're gonna take some of that. But this is not the gear guy I'm looking for. There was a homie with a bunch of grim smiles. And that's definitely the guy that I'd be interested to fuck with. I mean, this guy, on the other hand, is like, uh, I believe, 40 plus, almost 50% PDR. And like 130 health. So it's not a bad 
you know, very budget. Oh my fucking god, you piece of shit. Not a bad, very budget replacement kit. Right, well, basically, I have two pods ready. And headshot. Fucking bitch. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's not that bad. I'm gonna heal up and I will be able to get my stuff quite back in no time, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. <laughs> he thought he's this guy. I mean, he's that guy. You're not that guy, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I did got a body block quite a many of times, but I I was just um, lucky enough this time around, I guess. GG, but the almost a perfect third party and he slightly ended up messing up a little. It's okay, though. Not a bad attempt, I could say that much. Ah, looks like someone died here. They had the um, Mr. Troll end up killing guy, but uh, with the amount of time it's gonna take to loot the corpse, hell nah. I'm not gonna bother fucking trying to kill a boss, it's gonna be such a waste of fucking time. There's a lot of geared players, and ideally, I go look for them. That will be my absolute best bet. This whole area got cleared out. And I'm definitely not the guy here who did that. This whole area got cleared out and I was not the one. Not the door open. Someone just died. Gotta be careful here. On the bright side I have a hatchet so it's not bad. I've been coming across clerics actually quite a bunch of times. And the cleric with the um, 40 plus PDR, smite and magic stuff. Oh fuck, bro. That's some terrifying bullshit. I'll tell you that much. Oh, we have a guy here. This is the guy with Grim Smiles. Yeah, this is the one. This one. I inspected him and loved him. Okay, well, we're gonna fight him a little. Double headshot so far. Not bad. Okay, we gotta cut him around a little bit. He still has second win. I gotta make him use second win. Once he does that, that's when it's gonna be my opportunity to re-engage. Even though I have a lot of health, I don't wanna just fucking, you know, be stupid about the fight. I'm almost all full HP, like this whole fight. Like, he was not doing that much to me though. He ran after me though, which is uh, a little unusual. Maybe he thought he would be able to stat check me. The Achilles plus the um, blood exchange is actually kind of busting, especially against uh, arming swords, fire chones, you know, stuff that's not gonna kill you instantly. But you definitely don't want to use it against uh, stuff like um, magic stuff, you know, or at least, at least. You gotta have like a joie hand or something to be able to control. You're literally not allowed to get headshotted or body shot because it's just gonna do so much damage. I feel like I would die in three magic stuff hits with the smite. Because the magic stuff, they're kinda out of control. I do have a feeling that the cleric with magic stuff could actually be pretty good. But um, I haven't truly really played with it because uh, I kinda miss barbarian and that's why I'm gonna, you know, play barb for a bit. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is the guy with dream smiles. Not bad. We take those. It was like a 50% PDR build, I feel like. Double greemies. Bunch of plates. A little bit of magic resistance. The um, anti-magic boots. So he probably was planning to fight like wizards and uh, warlocks or something. Or maybe clerics. Probably this gonna work quite well against clerics. Oh, holy cow, brother. The ring. God damn. I'm genuinely surprised how someone would have leave uh, such a beautiful ring here. That ring right there is literally slightly more than the worst of the half of my current gear set. I'm not even trolling. That's probably like the action and the uh, additional 
it's really damn fucking good. Because pretty much for my kit, I just end up buying the most cheapest um, items with one right attribute. And when you get a two right attributes on the ring of quickness, that's when you're gonna pay a lot. Pretty much right here, we got like at least five additional sets, you know, money wise already. So, like, if we ended up losing the current set, we might as well just um, rebuy more or less same gear set. For the most part, it's a lot about how much you need to commit in order to be able to um, deal with some classes. The downside of a barb is like, holy fuck, the prices on Francesca X are ridiculous. And you can't go in the game without a bunch of blues and purples. Like, um, I probably spend more on utility than on my gear, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, well, let's do the usual. We go to the prison and we check if there is a player spawn. And then from there we're gonna move on. Looks like there's no one here. The mob isn't dead either. There's a sign that nobody spawned here. Okay, let's deal with this mob really quick. Check left or right. Oh, here we go. Well, let's see if this guy decides to fight me. He's down, sure. Holy fuck, what a move, brother. GG. You may not have a lot, but um, rings with physical power and agility actually are gonna cost some, so it's definitely not that bad. Purple Raper. Um, it's okay. It's gonna pay off. Physical power, wonder. Also gonna cost a little. Maybe maybe it's slightly under 800 gold. But there's a uh, plenty of geared players, so we're gonna go and try hunt them down. I heard centipede. If this centipede is aggroed, it means someone is trying to fuck with it. And this seems like a dead end too. Maybe it's gonna be a good opportunity to do and catch the guy off guard. Alright, let's try to get him closer. I have a um, purple potion equipped, so... What the fuck did he cast that on? Interesting. I do have uh, Francesca access, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of ready for a battle here with this warlock. Ah, oh, bitch. Minus 200 gold. Wasted. Nothing could be done. <laughs> oh no, he's running away, wait. Okay, doesn't matter at all. Okay, smart pants. But I give him credit for that. That was the right move here. Okay, my timings are off. Well, it is what it is. I'm not gonna chase him any further, let him go. It's fine. Let's reset, get everything equipped, get prepared for the next encounter. It is what it is. It's gonna be like that sometimes. Wait, right, looks like he's coming back or something. What the freak? Why do you see you come back? I don't understand. This is dead end, isn't it? Door is closed. He wasted his phantom eyes. Did he got hit by mobs or something? I have no fucking idea. Unless there is like a rogue camping somewhere that got him scared. Otherwise, there is not a single fucking reason on the world why would he end up running directly at me after using the phantom eyes. Like he chose the death wish or something. Well, I don't wanna mess with rogue. But I'm definitely down to mess with Druid. Aww. But at the same time, this role could actually try and serve fighting me any fucking time. Oh yeah, that definitely did damage. Actually, oh wait a second. The fucking rogue is here? How the fuck did he end up here? I thought he is elsewhere. Well, that's actually good for me because this is the super geared rogue that I actually was quite interested to dealing with. This is, was, by the way, not the rogue that I even meant in the first place. This guy is way more geared than the one that I meant. And by the way, he's on me. Does he think that I'm low HP or something? Probably could be my opportunity to get a free kill on this rogue. He closed the door. What a kind fella. One more hit. Actually, not one, buddy. You died. <laughs> oh no, I'm actually could be the one who's gonna get killed. Okay, I got a little bit of HP back. So far, so good. Put some pressure, get back. Fucking out of pods. Okay, 
No, wait, no, I buy so far. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta use these. I gotta get my HP back. I don't care about the rogue gear. It's most important um, to get my. Holy fuck, bro. Sorry. It's most important to get all my health back. And also, I think the guy is quite low. Hey, is he here? Let's put some pressure. I'm feeling confident here. No, not bad. I don't have no more Francesca axes. I wish I could throw my fucking hatchet. <laughs> Imagine how sick that would be. No, uh, fuck it. Let's just put a campfire down. Like, literally right here. He's gonna do fucking his business, fucking suck on Hydra or something. If he has it. If he doesn't, well, I mean, whatever he does, it's his business. As long as he doesn't come down. I mean, as long as he doesn't come back here. Okay. Wait a second. Someone just... Ended up themselves? Bro. Am I tripping or that guy just accidentally hydrated himself? No, I gotta go check actually. But no, 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 I gotta go check that rogue first. I don't care about this guy, but I do care about the rogue. That rogue is super juicy, like giga giga juicy. And then if anything, I'll come back and I'll loot the warlock. But there is, um, I seen at least three warlocks in this lobby, like three different parties. It also looks like someone is uh, trying to fuck with the troll. I would assume it's a rogue. I really hope nobody looted this one. Because this rogue is so fucking juicy. Like, giga juicer. Okay. Alright, I hope there is no fucking rogue that's gonna try and ambush me. Okay. Looks kinda clean to me. So far, so good. I can't get used to how long it takes to loot a corpse. Like, holy cow, it literally takes take 10 fucking seconds. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the guy, this is the homie. There's probably like another 5 to 7,000 gold right here in this guy's gear. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. We got some cheese for sure. We'd go back to loot that warlock again, and also we would have to mess with the guy um, who is doing the troll. Maybe he's gonna get a troll pelt, you never know. Alright, so this is where I was last time. And I assume this is where he ended up dying. Yep, there we go. This is where I heard the um, Hydra spawned um, right before he died. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a little bit of extra juice. I don't think we're gonna be needing the um, campfire, so we're just gonna take all the uh, Valuable cheese. S up. Okay. Oh, bro, there is a fucking warlock in the doorway. <laughs> nah, I don't have a single chance to catch up to him without Princess Texas. If only barbarians would get like one Francesca X every 15 to 20 seconds or something. Oh, look, there is a gear guy. Mm, he could possess the threat to me, though. That's a fucking bonk wizard. Well, let's try anyway. Holy! Jesus Christ, holy fuck. Jeez, fucking jeez. I almost died, by the way. Time for a warlock to start fighting me, by the way. Or a rogue. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. It's okay, it's not that deep. There is a doorway to my right which I could use to just run through. I don't really need to bother with this guy, also there is not that much time left either. So this is what I'm actually do. You might as well suck it dick <laughs> and mind his own business and I'll go mind my own. Uh listen. Hey listen, there is only three minutes left. If anything I don't wanna fucking waste my time. You, if you want to loot, you can go ahead and loot, honestly. Peace out.
I'm way too looted, brother, to even bother with this guy's gear. I got a little too much cheese for the game. Ah, fuck it, let's get out of here, I guess. Yeah, I'd really like to fight with this warlock as well, but um, there is no reward for doing so. I don't think he even has anything in the first place. Wow, that was actually quite cinematic. Oh, I don't think we have a static here. Last time I checked, it was taken. Yeah. Nothing has changed. <laughs> little tech, little tech. You don't need to kill mobs down here if you don't have much time. You can just use portals to block the mobs away. And freely open them up. Okay. Just like that. And we are fucking out. Alright. Not a bad game for sure. Let's go into the next one. Oh yeah, he... Ah! Oh, okay, yeah, he did look a little bit of cheese for sure. <laughs> Definitely good cheese. Oh well, it is what it is. Oh my goodness, brother. Look at this juicer. Holy hell. Oh, I would absolutely love to fuck with this guy for sure. 47 PDR, magic stuff, 156 health. Yeah, he's super fucking good. I'm gonna be honest, my chances to win this guy is so fucking low. I would literally have to do so many things right, and if I mess up once, I will fucking die. I mean, this guy is pretty geared as well. Realistically, realistically, my chances to win this fight against the cleric would be only possible if I would be able to hold him on edge for fucking 3 minutes at least or something. Trading hits, fucking using my cooldowns, perfectly using blue and purple pots, and then fucking, I know, trapping him or using mobs or fucking... But there is no mage in this game, like the um, goblin mage, the one that like, you know, was the machine gun. So that's gonna be off the limit. This guy was also kinda geared. Looks like that guy is going fucking completely ham and blasting through people. I'm actually super excited to fight the guy. I don't want to be fucking negative or like, you know, be unreasonable that, oh, hey, like, you know, pessimistic in a way, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be more realistic. If I try to fight that guy, like, you know, chance of winning that guy is going to be solo. Because he's not just counter, he's the giga counter. Like the absolute fucking cheesiest monster. It's like... I would say the Bonk Wizard counters me in a way the same way, I would say. Surprisingly, this guy is actually pretty geared. I'm slightly surprised that he didn't put up a fight. But it's okay. It's not about this guy. We gotta go and fight the Lobster. Mr. Lobster Cleric. I hear footsteps, what the fuck? Oh my god, he was the one who found me. Wow, bro! Fucking very high- Oh no, this is so not good. Oh, okay, it's fine though. It's not that bit. Oh yeah, though, that's definitely gonna help. Alright, well, now we're just gonna pop some bandages and use some potions and we should be just fine. I aggroed the mob, mob is on me, this is not very good, I would have to kill the mob. But I don't have a curious on, so that's fine. Alright. He's not fast enough, that's the beauty though. Okay. Gonna heal up here. Fucking that was not intentional. Bitch, bro. He wasted his mind. Pika Vista. No Pika Vista, brother. <laughs> Let's get all the um, princess axes. So far, so far, we're doing good. Probably need another um, six to seven Francesca axes. Um, and hit him probably another three to five times. And I would definitely kill him. For sure. <laughs> I'm not even trolling. Just reality. He has too much effective health. And um, he's just one fucking. Oh, fuck. I thought he was camping me. Throw the corner. So I would assume he is going for the health shrine. Basically, he's gonna fucking nullify all the progress that I did so far. 
a piece of shit. It's okay though. Yeah, he's gonna use the shrine here. Well, anyway. What do I want? Potion of protection or purple potion? I wish you could stack both of them. That would be actually so handy. Oh, he's getting slightly cooked here. He got blocked by mob. He got hit by mob. Not once, but twice. One, two. I gotta heal up to three. Fuck me. <sighs> he's so low. He's like 10 to 15 health, I think. At most, there is no way. Oh my god, bro. He's... Oh, bro. That is just... That's not only did I do everything perfect, but also it's a very fucking drastic gear difference. You gotta tell him that he is an absolute fucking best. He did really fucking good there in this fight. Yeah, the guy is absolute fucking shot. Gotta give him a credit. Fuck, if only if I put one more Francesca axe. Bro, the outcome would be completely different. Or if I use this Y-Hander instead, like holy hell. But um, it is what it is. For anyone who is curious what I ended up getting um overall so pretty much we've started with this whole stash being empty and we kind of filled it up slowly one step at a time with a bunch of stuff some of this may not be overly expensive but um i was requested so many times to actually sh share the progress and not just you know what it looks pretty much i was dumping all the stuff that i found and i do feel like probably if i get to sell all of this like the whole thing it's probably gonna be around 15 to 20 thousand gold we got a lot of good items but anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider press the subscribe button. I'm going to post a lot more in the future. It's Timo, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out, and I'll see you in the dungeon.